Hello and welcome back to Views on the Road. I'm your host Steph and today I'm meal prepping dinner for those of you that only have 60 seconds. And guess what? I'm going to save you time and a lot of money. Now go ahead and set your Instant Pot on saute and then we're going to go over the ingredients. For this delicious recipe, you're going to need two and a half pounds of chuck roast, one dozen tortillas, one tablespoon of olive oil, two large potatoes, one poblano pepper, one juicy tomato, four ounces of tomato sauce, one medium onion, two garlic cloves, three fourths of a cup of water, half a tablespoon of ground cumin, half a tablespoon of Mexican oregano, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of salt, or you can use one and a half tablespoons of chicken bouillon, a small bunch of finely chopped cilantro, and one tablespoon of all-purpose flour. Let's start by infusing our water with some chicken bouillon or your salt. Give that a loving mix because you want to dissolve all those delicious ingredients into your water. Next, you want to add your ground cumin, Mexican oregano, black pepper, and your garlic. And give that beef a loving massage with all those seasonings. We want them to get nice and coated. Once you've combined all your seasonings into your beef, you're going to add your olive oil. And you're gonna make sure that all of your beef is fully coated. And now it's go time. Our Instant Pot has been on saute since we started about 10 minutes ago. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our beef right into our Instant Pot. We wanna sear our beef. We wanna seal all those delicious flavors. Next, you do not wanna touch anything for three minutes because you can either saute this on your stove top or you could avoid washing a pan. It's gonna be up to you. And after three minutes, you're gonna add your chopped onions and you're gonna give it a loving mix. And since we wanna achieve more of a stew in our Instant Pot, sometimes that can be difficult. So we're gonna help it out by adding one tablespoon of all-purpose flour. On one of our last recipes, somebody said you can use cornstarch for this part and you're more than welcome to. I'm just going to give this a loving mix and continue to saute for another two to three minutes. Leaving room and spaces so the moisture can be released. Ooh, I'm excited. It smells so good in here. Next, you're going to add your potatoes. And I did chop my potatoes a little bit thicker and chunkier just because they're going to be in an instant pot in a pressure cooker and I want them to still hold a bite. Add your tomato and your poblano pepper, your tomato sauce, and your chicken broth. Give that another loving mix. Make sure to combine everything and if you feel that the flour's at the bottom, just scrape just a little. Just a touch of love. You're saving us from the food burn warning. Mm-hmm. I sure am. I'm familiar with that one. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> Place the lid over your Instant Pot and you're gonna seal the deal. Seal not bent. Cancel the saute and you're going to pressure cook for 18 minutes with a quick release. And boom done. Time to pressure release. <laughs> and boom done. Our guisado is ready. And don't forget you can place your instant pot lid right here for safety. It's going to shield you from everybody that's hungry. It's not ready guys. Boom, yum. Ooh, that's hot. That's juicy and tender. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you have me laughing. Go get your man, girl. <laughs> right after your Instant Pot Bistec Ranchero is ready, you want to taste your broth. You want to taste your beef. If you need a little bit more seasoning, you can go ahead and add that right now, which I just need a little bit. I've been a little bit salty lately, so... Um, I give you guys a decent measurement and then I adjust when I need to. One of the other things that I noticed is that we released a lot of juice in here. So I want it a little bit thicker and I'm going to show you how. Do you remember our glue, our Mexican glue? You can add one tablespoon of that. Add that right in and give that a good mix because everything in here is really, really hot. It's been pressure cooking for a long time and that's going to start thickening our ingredients. You see it changed the color slightly. And the only thing different that I did to our Mexican glue is I did it with hot water. 
Somebody was nervous about using raw flour when I was sealing our burritos. So I just used hot water to help it cook. So it's cooked, little glue. And by glue, I mean all-purpose flour and warm water. We get too steamy with this pot. It's hard for you guys to see, but you'll see how much thicker your sauce is now. So again, you can use your cornstarch or your all-purpose flour. It's really gonna be up to you and what you're comfortable with. So once you've stirred that a good minute, you're gonna add your cilantro. Give that another loving mix and we are ready to serve. I'm just kidding, we're meal prepping. Don't eat it all. We're gonna place a little bit of our tortilla glue. Sometimes I just say Mexican glue, but I don't know how you guys feel about that. <laughs> don't play, we used to use that for the piñatas too, so it is Mexican glue. It is Mexican glue. <laughs> use your leftover rice or your Mexican rice, whatever kind of rice you'd like, you can use for this part. Go ahead and add your bistec ranchero. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, some of our potatoes made it whole, some of them didn't. But you can taste it in your gravy. Go ahead and give that a lovely fold. Ready, ready? Push back. Fold it, fold it. And you might just need a little bit of glue there. This just guarantees a really good seal. And you can find these wax papers in our Amazon storefront. Yes, you can use the same paper uh, to place it in your microwave. You don't have to worry about it. They are microwave safe. And my tip to you is going to be, for those of you that want to see your potatoes in here, chop them up real big this time. I have a lot of my stewy sauce left over and I don't want it to go to waste. So I'm going to add another large potato. I'm going to cook it for six minutes and then I'm going to continue making my burritos. And last week you guys mentioned that you don't like how soft the burritos get in the microwave. I'm going to show you a tip right now that's going to help you out. But it's not going to be a burrito at that point. It's going to be called a chimichanga. And this is how you're going to avoid the super soft burritos. Okay, you're going to fry them. Place them in some hot oil. And you're gonna fry them like you would a chimichanga until they're nice and golden brown. Like the one back there? Just like the one back there, Phil. And I think for these guisado burritos, chimichanga style is probably the best for you if you're gonna be freezing them. I know some of you are feeling guilty that you eat from the freezer aisle. Don't, I do too, I like those. I always have. <laughs> they're delicious. It took me a while. But homemade is a lot better. Mm -hmm. And once it's nice, fried, and golden brown, you're gonna set it to the side and continue with the remaining. We're all fried and wrapped. I kept them color coordinated, so the beef ones I kept with red, and the ones with just mostly potato and rice are in black. That makes it easier for you when you're ready to microwave. You can microwave them for 60 seconds if they're thawed out, but if they're frozen, it's gonna take you anywhere from two to three minutes, and don't you worry, you can just place them in your same wrapper and it's gonna have an excellent burrito for you for breakfast, lunch, dinner, or snack to pack with you to your doctor's appointments, to take them to your kids after their sporting events or just because. Uh, please let me know if you wanna see more of these recipes and we'll see you very soon. As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. We wanna say thank you to each and every one of you that left us a comment on our mole celebration video and for all of the thumbs up. We truly appreciate and love you and on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios.